Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com. Today we're going to show you how you can easily remove objects from photos in iOS with Pixelmator. A huge thanks to the folks over at Pixelmator for sponsoring this series of content. They make an amazing full featured image editing application for the iPhone, iPad, and OS X. Highly affordable great set of features, and an amazing UI and interface. All right, so here we are on my iPhone. And today I want to show you how to easily remove objects within photos. So whether it is a person or you know anything that's kind of just that pesky thing that's in the way. Uh, I want to focus this on iOS because tell me if this has ever happened. You're taking in a picture, whatever it is, and there's just that one thing you wish wasn't in the picture. It totally offset or ruined a great view, uh, a great selfie, who knows? How do you remove an object in a photo easily within iOS? Well, Pixelmator is a really great application. It's only $4.99 for iPhone users, so super affordable at that and highly featured uh, as, as far as, or say fully featured, I should say. Uh, so here we are in the application. It presents a really clean and easy to use interface. So you can go ahead and import pictures from your camera roll. So it makes it that much more easier. You can take and then edit photos right away on your iPhone on the go. No need to plug in and import the photo onto an app. However, if you wanna do that, they have a Pixelmator for desktop as well or for the Mac users. Uh, but for you iPhone users to do it, you simply go ahead and pick the photo. Here I have this really cool view that I took on my iPhone. However, I really, really don't like those telephone pole lines at, uh, right here that are kind of going through my image at the very top there. So I kind of want to cut those out. So I'm going to go ahead and crop the image so it's perfectly scaled here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the tools on the top, the little paintbrush tool. It's going to show me all the tools I have available uh, here within Pixelmator. But really what I'm concerned about is retouching the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and select the repair tool in this case. And then I can adjust the size that I want. So as far as how big I want to kind of adjust it here. In this case, the lines are very thin, so I can have it to be a thinner tool in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the size to pretty thin there. And then from there, I'll click on the down arrow. And then what I'm gonna do here is just draw a line like so over the thing I wanna repair. And, and what you're gonna see here is gonna go ahead and run the percentage meter at the top here. And it runs pretty quickly here. So obviously in this case, uh, I need to go ahead and highlight. So I'm gonna go back and forth, just using my finger, kind of like a paintbrush here essentially, and just go back and forth. And it's recommended in this case, since the sky is the main background, I'm gonna kind of want to go in broad strokes. That way it can use uh, its technical formula to go ahead and rearrange the sky and kind of morph it around that area. And again, it's gonna run its repairing tool here. And at 100%, there it is. The lines are out of the way and it's it looks pretty natural since they're clouds, obviously. Now, obviously you can get much more detail. So for example, let's say these arrows right here in the concrete, the up and down arrow in the parking lot, let's just say for whatever reason, I don't like arrows. I wanna remove those guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight that arrow right there. Let it repair and bam, arrow is gone. And <laughs> that's really, you can't really tell because it does a really great job of taking the background or, or foreground color, I should say, and then mixing it into the photo very, very well, very easily there. Literally, you tap on the repair tool, you highlight it, and once you're all done, you can go ahead and export the image. Just like that, you can easily remove objects, be it a person, a, a telephone pole, an arrow, or what have you from a photo to get it perfectly centered or, or, or you know perfectly set in the way you want it take out those distracting objects uh, capture that moment that you perfectly want to capture afterwards with pixelmator it's a great way to do it it's a highly affordable app and it's it does much more than this there's just you know again skimming the surface of what it can do hope this tutorial helps somebody out there Definitely check it out in the App Store if you're an iPhone or iPad user for that matter. There's also a Mac OS X version for those of you who want a more full-featured desktop app. Check that out as well. Hit thumbs up if this video helped you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will catch you all in the next video.